what is the origin of intelligence? Is it uh, that we started cooking meat over fire? Is it that we somehow figured out that we could be very powerful and we started collaborating? So cooperation between um, our ancestors so that we can overthrow the alpha male. Uh, what, what is it, Richard? I talked to Richard Ranham, who thinks we're all just beta males who figured out how to collaborate to <laughs> defeat the one, yes. the, the, the dictator, the yes. authoritarian alpha male um, that controlled the tribe. Um, is there other explanation? Did, did was there a um, 2001 Space yes, Odyssey monolith. type of monolith yeah. that came down to Earth? Well, I, I think um, I think all of those things you suggest are good candidates: fire and and and, <laughs> and cooking, right? So that's clearly important for en yeah. for energy, you know, energy efficiency. Yeah. Uh, cooking our meat and then and then being able to 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 be more efficient about eating it and getting uh, consuming the energy. Um, I think that's huge. And then utilizing fire and tools. I think you're right about the the tribal cooperation aspects and probably language as part of that. Yes. Um, because probably that's what allowed us to outcompete Neanderthals and 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 perhaps less cooperative species. So um, so that may be the case. Tool making, spears, axes. Uh, I think that let us. I mean, I think it's pretty clear now that humans were responsible for a lot of the extinctions of megafauna, um, especially in 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 the Americas when humans arrived. So uh, you can imagine once you discover tool usage, how powerful that would have been and how scary for animals. So I think all of those could have been explanations for it. You know, the interesting thing is that it's a bit like general intelligence too, is it's very costly to begin with to have a, a brain uh, and especially a general purpose brain rather than a special purpose one because the amount of energy our brains use, I think it's like 20% of the body's energy mm. and it's it's massive. And when you're thinking chess, one of the fi funny things that, uh, that we, we used to say is it's as much as a racing driver uses for a whole, you know, Formula One race, you're just playing a game of, you know, yeah. serious high level chess, which, you, you know, you wouldn't think you're just sitting there um, because the brain's using so much uh, uh, energy. So in order for an animal, an organism to justify that, there has to be uh, a huge payoff. And the problem with with half a brain or half, you know, a, a intelligence, say an IQs of, you know, a, 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 of like a monkey brain, it's it's not clear you can justify that evolutionary until you get to the human level brain. And so, but how do you how do you do that jump? It's very difficult, which is why I think it's only been done once from the sort of specialized brains that you see in animals to this sort of general purpose, chewing powerful brains that humans have, um, and uh, which allows us to invent the modern modern world. Um, and, uh, you know, it takes a lot to, to cross that barrier. And I think we've seen the same with AI systems, which is that, uh, maybe until very recently, it's always been easier to craft a specific solution to a problem like chess than it has been to build a general learning system that could potentially do many things. Cause initially, uh, that system will be way worse than, uh, less efficient than the specialized system.